Hello and welcome. I am Jarlbear, and welcome to your next episode of our Grumbrindle the White Dwarf campaign for Total War Warhammer 3. We are picking up where we left off last time, my shield wall. We are on turn 22, and we are picking up as we have defended our borders last week's episode. If you missed last week's episodes or any of the parts so far, make sure you check out the playlist on the channel so you can keep up to date with everything happening in the campaign. So last week we defended our southern border from both Chaos and from Skaven. And now that we have repelled Chaos and after talking to a couple of you, I feel like rather than jumping right into the Chaos land right away, I'm going to do the quest battle first and get Grombrindle's Runax. And we'll have that battle next turn for the Runax. I feel like that will be smarter to do. Get that first. And then once we have his Runax, then we can move on into the Chaos Lands and start taking that. But make sure we have that first. At least that's my thought process with it. Grab those two. So when it comes to diplomacy, we really don't have anything yet because we haven't met anybody yet. I'm tempted to send out our runesmith so we can meet the Norse dwarves and start finding all of our southern kin. But as of right now, I think we need that runesmith in our army because his abilities really help change the tides of battle during battles. So for now, I'm going to have to hold off on meeting our kin and focus on fighting. Growing our forces we're working on, a hero becomes a legend. We just need to win one more battle with our hero and that will be done. Thieving Vermin Grudge, raid any region belonging to the Skaven, which would be down here. And then Runax of Grombrindle, we're about to do that. We have four grudges we're slowly working on. Where's the Chaos is what we're going to go up against next as we hop up north. And as well as our Norskin Grudge. Get two of those grudges done and that will help out a lot. All right, so I think that catches up to everything that has happened so far. Buildings are looking good. We have one turn left on Kraka Ormsmotek becoming level three. Everything else is a level two settlement with everything maxed out. We have our obsidian quarry, our clan barracks, and our gem mine, as well as our gold mine in our capital. Everything where it should be. Focusing on that granary, gain that replenishment right now. And yes, so with that, let us dive into today's episode, and we are going to march on to turn 23. Kazakin, Kazakin, ha! Diving right on in today, laddies. I'm the White Dwarf. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday, and I hope you had a good week. As we are marching on. And I want to say thank you guys for your comments on my episodes last week. Your advice is always appreciated, and I love getting comments from you guys. So Fenny Ronaldson, we've got his secondary army standing there. He's going to be de defending the home front as Grom Brindle starts to march out against the enemies. But first, we got to take care of this quest battle and get his runic axe. I feel like that's really important to getting him maxed out so that we can deal some good damage with Grom Brindle while we march north. Dwarf Keep is done. The crack of Orange Motex starting to look nice and upgraded. We can upgrade to crack of Orange Motex restored now. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And I'm also going to grab... Hmm. Armory... Tinker's Dead. I'm going to say Armory. Grab that. Runax battle time. Alright, I think we can do this. Outside Kazad Gruntunt. Solid armies. Nothing too scary. They got some Forsaken, some Chosen. That will be a pain in the butt. But nothing too deadly, at least from what we can see. With these quest battles, you know, they love to throw extra things at you, so we'll have to see how that actually turns out. 
With that being said, let us go to battle my kin, my shield wall, my dowie, for the ancestor gods. It's mine, Lord and Kin. Let's get about this. These chaos loving Ungi are in need of a reckoning, all right. I have an oath to fulfill, so don't mind me if I'm greedy. But I need to kill lots of pretty bread ups to get my axe shambling the rooms. I promised Grimnir to be a mighty tally, and I ain't one for breaking such an oath. So come on, let's have them! Let's have them, laddies! You heard the weight dwarf. I send them back to their fell masters. Make them pay dearly. All right, let's get this set up. Shield wall. That'll do there. That'll do. Thunderers. Thunderers. Hammerers. Some hammers to protect them. Gyrocopters. Iron Drakes. And then we've got our quarrelers. And boom. Everyone is good to go. Chaos forces keep on coming. Clearly the blood god is hungry. Where are you running to? You chaos umgi. Come back here. Come back and fight me. The clans unite. They charge into battle. Yes, then. Lead them to glory, Grumbrindle. Let's start shooting. Iron Reeks. Thunderers. No base. Kill every warrior that spawned of chaos. Kill them all. You defend the flank. Preparing body run. Nothing can stop us. Dwarf warriors. Will do. You there? Come on, I dare you. Boom, the Marauder Horsemen are dead. Easy peasy. Go get him, Gyrocopter. Yeah! Good hit. Kill 
All right, we move forward. Walk. More words. Run. Quickly into position. Good, got into position, position just in time. Shoot the Forsaken. From Brindle, go get him. Right side, right side. Take them down. Take them down. This is a reckoning. Nothing can stop us, Grumbrendo. Nothing can stop us, Dwarves, Ready Axes. Unload on him. There you go. Blow him up. Shoot him. Chaos Warriors are coming from the far left. Let them come. There we go. Their Lord's dead. Thank you, Iron Drakes. Now we get ready. Dwarf warriors. Yes. Kazook. Shoot them. Be 
You stay there and prepare. There we go, bombing run ready, and drop. And drop. You get in there. Everybody else looks good. Nice and secured. Oh, wow, yeah, they just melted. Look at that. Oh, our fire is undimmed. That is awesome. Now that takes care of that nice and easy. Boom. You gotta love a good Iron Drake hit. Should be everybody, right? Yep, there we go. Close victory. And the rune axe is ours. Ho, ho, ho. 140 kills from those hammers. Ah, I love it. So we deployed 1,151, we lost 305, we remain with 846, the Hellfire Legion got its booty kicked, killed 789 of their 991, 64 of the 135, and 255 of the 255. A nice win there for us, we will replenish and then we will pop up north and continue our war on the Chaos Warriors. So far so good today's episode, I hope you guys are enjoying so far. We're going to push forwards. West complete. Uh, drink to victory. Chaos Breaker achieved victory over Warriors of Chaos or Norska multiple times. That's great because we're going to be dealing with a lot of them. Warriors of Dragonfire pass unlocked. Got the Rune Axe. Plus 5,000 treasury and casualty replenishment up 10% for two turns. Rune Axe of Grombrindle. Oh, oh, oh. Upkeep minus 5%. Income from post battle loot plus 10%. Recruitment cost minus 10%. Melee attack plus 10. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 13. And the runic ability. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. By the ancestor gods. This is great. And a hero becomes legend complete. This is... Great. We'll pop up in the Kazed Gruntunt, Gruntunt, whatever the heck. Two turns to fully replenish, and then we can march on Chaos. All right. Fair enough. Lord of Clan Borgrim. One more warrior there. Upgrade into a gold smelter, get that income going. Rumbrindle has a skill point. I'm going to put it in Fire and Fury. Missile Strength plus 4% for Iron Drakes and Flame Cannons. That will be great. Buff up our Iron Drakes even more. Who calls me? Yamek Gilded Stone. Hmm. I'm gonna say. Rid of slowness, debuff those charging chaos even more. And boom, we are good to move on to turn 24. Today's episode is looking solid so far, shield bros. My shield wall, knock on wood. The end turn is ticking by. 240 other factions left so far.
and we will see what comes of it. We're going to need at least one more turn to finish our replenishment, and then we'll use the underway to pop north. So we can continue our war on the Chaos Warriors up there. Those Laneshi bastards. Sealed hold. Attrition minus 20% when under siege. Control plus 2, but income from all buildings minus 10%. That's fine. Even with the units we have now, we're still making 1033 a turn. That's very solid. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. How can I help? And pop in the Warriors of Dragonfire Pass. Actually, which one? I do. Yeah. The dwarfs need me. Put in the Grom Brindles. Benny, you get one more Dwarf Warrior. That's all you need. You Three turns left on the buildings. I am the White Dwarf. I am the White Dwarf. And we're going to go off to the Monolith of Flesh. Or, sorry, Monolith of Vandred next turn. All right, let's get started on these grudges. We have four turns left on Grungni's teachings and two turns left on our okay, technology research. On to turn 25 we go, Shieldwall. We are marching. If you guys didn't know, I started a new campaign for Wednesdays on the Realm of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. It transports the player into the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, otherwise known as Game of Thrones, and it's a really cool mod, and I just started that series. Episode 1 came out on Wednesday. If you haven't checked that out, please consider doing so. Go check out The Rise of House Goldclaw. 238 other factions left as the turns start to tick by here. Rank gain for Finny. He's level 2 now. Our enemy shall tremble. I'm Boom. Hello, Thor Hall no. Blood Ice. Denied. I'm here to kick your butt. <laughs> Two turns left on the buildings. One turn left on technology. Benny, you've got a decent little army now. You're going to be fine. I'm going to put Inspiring Presence on him. going to stay here. Turn 25. So we're going to march on to turn 26. We continue our march northwards. I'll probably just raise these settlements since it's unpleasant climate being chaotic wastelands. Don't want to deal with that, so probably just going to raise the buildings, raise the settlements when I'm done with them. Or loot and then raise, something like that. Alright, 236 other factions as we prepare for our war to the north. Finally, we're going to pursue this war. I've been waiting. Under Morslip's Glare, Treasury, you know what? Yeah, get that War Forever, improve the Omens. Thorhall just left. Ammunition Wagons is done. Ammunition plus 20% for Missile Infantry Units. Mission issued. Upgrade any settlement building to level 5. Alright, cool. Very cool, very cool. The dwarfs need me. I catch him. I can! Come here, Thorhall. Ah, oh, you coward. I'm here now. Ooh, I'm gonna be taking attrition all over the place. That is less than ideal. Come here, Thorhall. We can upgrade a building. Hmm. I'm thinking Kazed Govekarag. So we can get the Obsidian Trinket Maker up more. 
And also that way we have a solid defense to the east. But I'm also thinking Gruntland so we can get the uh, long beards and long beards with great weapons. One turn. You know what? Yeah, we'll go that one. You stay here. Technology. Dwarfen diplomats. Still isn't that needed, actually. We're going to do Dwarfen resolve leadership plus five for all infantry units. Get that good and going. All right, on to turn 27. And we are probably nearing the end of today's episode. But we're going to play a couple more turns and see what happens. Let's see what Thorhall does. Will Senor Blood Ice run from us? Will he attack us? We will find out. Does this Chaos Dog have the moxie, have the guts, have the willpower to face the White Dwarf. For his sake, I hope he doesn't. But for my sake, I hope he does. I'd love to put him in the ground. Come on, Thorhall. Face me. Face me, coward. Constructor, president and regions. Cool. Construction costs my 3% income from all buildings plus 3%. Attaboy, Finny. He ran. You know who I am. You have my axe. We'll go to encamp. On my way. I go where I need to. Hi again, Dazzle. Hi. Good to see you. Not really. If it's just Not him, though, I think we can win that. Damn. I think we can win that. What do you want? Any Casting the runes. One turn left. Negate and ameliorate penalties from hostile climates in the region. Oh nice. That is gonna be such a great buff. Look at all those. That is so great for the reclaimed Kraka. Kraka. My anger burns bright. I'm going to leave your army as is for now, Fenny. You should be good. Alright. I think one more turn and that'll do it for today. Let's see what turn 28 brings us. Will Azazel attack my shield wall? Will they come forth? Knowing him, probably not. But also, I could see this happening. I am intrigued. See what happens. Morn then, for the ancestor gods, give me a good fight. Give me a good fight. Where did you go? Where did you go? You run. Coward! Ew, look at these like slanesh trees. These are gross. What the heck is. Ew! Ew! Tentacle trees and claw trees. Don't like it. The living ancestor. All right. Yeah, we get a new ch choice now. Um, I think I'm going to go with the same one again. Growing these teachings. Thank you. I'll be taking that again. The white skulls. Hello, savage orcs. You ready to die on me, axe? Well, I'm ready for you to die on me, X. Who are... Are they at war with somebody else? Azazel. They are Karnath's sons. Damnation. Okay. I think they just ran from us. Fearless and unbreakable. What? Oh, snap. Ambush. Ambush. So we've been ambushed by the Ecstatic Legion, my shield wall. So as we saw, their army isn't too scary. We can win this, but we just have to be really careful with the ambush. And that is where we're going to stop for today. Give you guys a nice little cliffhanger. Join me next week as we face the ambush of the Ecstatic Legions. Can we survive Azazel's ambush? 
You'll have to turn in next week to find out. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did and you're enjoying this playthrough, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and bell button for me. It helps me out a lot, lets me know what you're enjoying, and helps me get found. Also, if you ever have a comment, suggestion, concern, idea, anything at all, drop that in the comment section down below for me. I do read all your comments. Like, genuinely, I love getting comments from you guys. So if you have anything you want to share, please drop that in the comment section down below for me. If you ever want to support me further, check out the links in the description of the video or consider becoming a member of my channel. Speaking of members of my channel, I would like to say a big shout out to my Huskarl tier. That's a big thank you to Cole, Twisted Fate, and Slav God 420 Thank you guys so much for your support of my channel. But that's enough for me for today. As always, I am Yarl Bear, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. For the ancestor gods!